Welcome back to Pathologic Classic HD. Finally, day three is over and we are on day four, and I can breathe a sigh of relief. Because day three was horrible, and, well, let's be honest, day four is probably going to be even more horrible. But, so far, it hasn't been as horrible. In fact, there's really nothing to do, specifically yet. We don't have any quest for today, we don't have any other tasks for today, we have not received any letters for day four. It is... 3.40 in the morning. So, right now, I'm kind of free to do basically whatever I want. My immunity is good, my hunger is very high. Uh, my health is okay. Exhaustion is pretty good, so really the biggest thing I need to do at the moment is just eat. And I also noticed that my map is actually not marked with the infected regions anymore. Perhaps I lost that when I loaded my save game from before, in the last episode. When I loaded one of my old save games. Maybe I lost that, or maybe it's because it's a new day. I'm not quite sure. So I think I want to eat and also go to Young Vlad to buy the new map for today. The new map of the infected regions. So let's do that. And it's a thousand for a new map, so I'm going to have to find somewhere to actually sell some of my stuff and get some money. Let's see if they're interested in my medicine here. See if I can sell some Meridorm. And also, what do you have? Gamma tablets. New generation immunity boosters. Speeds up white blood cell production, can be dangerous in large doses. Okay, so that sounds like a really good version of these. An antibiotic that kills microbes in the organism and suppresses their growth. Slightly decreases the number of harmful microorganisms, but does not slow down the rate of infection. Hmm. Unable to destroy the disease, but can have the level of infection. Slightly harmful to health. Can have the level of infection. Okay. So if it always has the level of infection, then as it says, it can never actually kill the disease. But if it makes it half of what it once was, then that could be useful to get. I mean, it's definitely going to be useful to get, but uh, I'm just wondering, do I want it now? Maybe I should wait for my infection to get higher before I do that. Because if it's going to have it, then it would just take it from here to here. Which really isn't that much. I should probably wait. Novocaine. Hmm. Looks like it's really good at healing. How does that compare to Meridorm? Effect lasts for 9 hours. For Meridorm, the effect lasts for 5 hours. 600 versus 1200. Just based on the price alone, I'd say it's probably twice as good. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I've got so much Meridorm, I really don't need to buy any pain meds. Oh my god, these alpha tablets are so cheap. Look at that. 120. Okay. Should I sell my revolver? I think I'm finally going to do it. I think I'm just going to sell it. This is, of course, the low-durability revolver, not the one that I'm actually using. I think... yeah, I'm gonna do it. Okay, let's sell it. Of course, I don't want to sell anything that are trade goods. So I'd only want to sell, like, medicine, bullets... All this other stuff can be traded. And I don't want to sell my scalpel. As tempting as it is, I do want a fallback weapon. I mean, you can use your fists, but fists are really crappy. Hope I don't regret selling my weapon. But that'll give me enough money for the new map and also for some food. So let's stop at these stores along the way, see if any of them sell food. Because I still have not printed out a map of the game world and marked down which places sell food, so I really don't remember. There's only a couple places that I remember as selling food specifically. And they're not around here. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. There's a murderer that's gonna knife me in the back, but everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's not fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. 
I'd just like to point out that it is clearly holding a knife, yet I cannot loot it. That is most unfortunate. It's a good place to go bin looting. I wonder if the number of stuff in bins goes down as time progresses. Oh, shit. Trying to kill somebody over there. I'll save you! Hold on! Run away! Don't fight the dude with a knife! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on! Oh, fuck. I... I, I saved you, citizen. Poor guy. Ooh, knife, money, and claws. Rawr. Uh. Okay, I kind of got distracted looting bins. This place back here sells something. Oh, it sells food. Perfect. I need food. Badly. Also, I gotta keep in mind that I can go to Lara's place and probably get some more bread and milk. So let's not go crazy with the food buying. Gotta save some room in my stomach. How expensive is it? Huh? Food's not as expensive as it's been in the past. It's not horrible. Take some smoked meat. Hmm, a fresh quail egg. Very nutritious, especially good for an organism weakened by a serious illness. Chickens and chicken eggs are becoming rare nowadays, so the townspeople are eating quail eggs. Yeah, let's take one of those too. Alright. For once, there's actually no meters on the top right of the screen. That's a rare sight indeed. To young Vlad's place. Let's get a new map. I think after this I'll probably go to Lara's place to get more food. I also really want to barter with some children. I've got a lot of goods to trade, and I'm feeling nervous about the amount of ammo I have. I've got nine shots in total. Which honestly isn't a low amount, but I really don't want to run out, especially not when I'm going to have to shoot plague rats and stuff like that. How can one avoid being infected? They say you saw some significant success yesterday. So random antibiotics really can help against the sand fever. Let's completely ignore the question and say, how is the distribution of drugs going? Why is there still no medicine in the town? The drugs we confiscated two days ago turned out to be outdated. Moreover, many are expired and now harmful. Many are probably useless. We will check every drug today. Those that actually prove effective will be put into distribution immediately. How will the tests be conducted? I found some people with a death wish. Those are desperate people on the verge of a nervous breakdown. And so I have tasked several young ladies, whom you probably know, with supervising the tests. They are Ava Yon, Yulia, and Anna Angel, and Lara Revel. They'll report the results tonight. Death wish. What do their tendencies have to do with this? It makes them likely to volunteer, obviously. The matter is urgent. Undoubtedly, you can see that. Testing the immunity drugs would require exposing oneself to the risk of infection. And, of course, you have to be infected to test the antibiotics. Death Seekers is a self-designation. They've chosen it because the sand pest spells certain death. Uh, this puts a lot of really important people in the line of danger. Uh, yeah, that's bad, especially since I'm apparently supposed to protect them. Like, them specifically. The Bound. 
I'm not happy about this. Are you out of your mind? Not at all. They know what they're getting into. It's horrible, yes, but it also happens at their own request. No one's forcing their hand. And we're offering sizable compensations to the testers' families. It's a fortune for a poor worker. To their families, so... Wow, your child gets to test drugs, and they die, and then your family gets rich. Fucking hell. Why don't you want to supervise the whole thing yourself? The young ladies offered their help voluntarily, with the task that I believe to be the least dangerous. I doubt they'd prefer to test the drugs themselves instead of sending death seekers into infected districts. And if they will? Woe is us then. Maybe there's still time to change their minds. But Bachelor, if they do conduct the tests on themselves, we can at least be certain of their failure or success. How so? Hmm. Our kind volunteers are prone to foul play. I've had reports of the kind of talks happening between them. Honestly, if they vanish, I'll be convinced that they just made off with the pills. Then why entrust them with such an important task? Don't worry. Trust the young ladies, and me. Even if something goes wrong, we will only lose a few hours. But we don't have an hour to lose. Glad the Younger has commissioned Anna to test dubious medicine, a misguided decision, if I've ever seen one. Yes. I think I should talk to these people and stop them. Hmm. It lists every person that's going to take part in the test, except for Ava. Why is Ava not on the list of places to visit and talk to about the drugs? Wasn't she on the list, Ava? I thought it was four people. That's three. Weird. Where did those lazy bastards go? What lazy bastards? Clara has lured Ripper into an ambush. Hmm? I am crushed by these walls. I need the infected district's map. 1,000, yep. Thank you. Ooh, that is spreading really freaking fast. Look at that. It's like one third of the town now. And what does this black area mean? Why is this black? Does that mean it was once infected, but now it's cleared out? Or, or is that even worse than red? Does that mean everybody died? Or what does it mean? Also, Yulia's house is right in the infection zone. And it looks like soon Lara Ravel's little hideout place to uh, keep people alive, little shelter, is also going to be infected shortly. Hope they lock the doors tight. Right, well, I guess we have our quest for the day, don't we? Oh, but it's actually an other task. It's not a main quest. Interesting. Yep, he's delegated the testing of to four women. Yeah, Ava's on the list, but she's not on the map for some reason. Weird. I wonder if he appreciates that one of them may decide to test the solution on herself. And did I receive a note uh, letter? No, I didn't. Okay. Well, start working on this while we're waiting for the main quest to show up. And I need to go to Lara's place for the side quest anyway, so I can do the side quest with her, and also hopefully get some food from her at the same time. Because I was going to go there anyway, so this is efficient. I like efficient. Oh, what was that sound? Letter? No. Oh, just another random scribbling sound that repeats sometimes. Weird. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to Ava first. Because the fact that she's listed in the names as being someone who's going to test the drug on her, uh, going to be used to test the drugs, but she's not actually marked on the map, creeps me out. So I want to go there first. Oh. 
Oop. Looky there. Should we kill him? How's our reputation? Oh, it's increased quite a bit. It's recovered quite a bit from when I tried to shoot the guards. I guess from just killing all these bad people. Let's kill more bad people. <laughs> Don't worry, ma'am. You're fine. Ooh, a lockpick. Got two lockpicks now. So many tradables. Where are the children? Wake up. <gasps> Murderer! No! Oh, don't die, fancy clothes man. Hold on. Hold on! Uh, uh. There we go. <laughs> Just calmly walks away like nothing happened. How's the durability of my weapon doing, by the way? 66%. Didn't it start at like 90? It's really... It's really taken a lot of... A lot of damage. Even with my infrequent use. It's gone down a lot. I'm gonna have to repair it at some point. But it's okay for now. Okay, Ava. Ava, Ava, Ava. We sometimes differ more widely from ourselves than we do from others. Yeah, look at this. So we can talk to her about the drugs, but she's not marked on the map. Why? Rumor has it you've agreed to test outdated antibiotics. Is it true? No. But I've got an impression that Anna and Lara wouldn't mind you helping them. Some hypocrisy. Why did they volunteer in the first place if they knew they lacked the courage to put their lives at stake? I'm confused, so why did why did they? Vlad the Younger found commoners willing to test old Isidore's drugs. Supposedly he took those for protection before entering molded houses. The ladies were put in charge of the whole affair, entrusted with keeping an eye on the experiment. And then here they go, claiming they are going to do just fine without anyone's help. Can you imagine that? I don't quite understand. Wait, I think I understand. Okay, yeah, I think I understand. Do I want to say just no? Just cancel the whole damn thing? Hmm. I'm tempted to. It's too damn dangerous, isn't it? It is too damn dangerous, I'll be damned. I've personally forbidden anyone to take risks. This whole thing has to be cancelled. Oh no, I knew you would say that. What can I do to make you forget it and stay here? Um... I'll think about it? Have you heard? They have started to distribute the experimental vaccine. There's too little of it, though. Well, let's go talk to the others, see what they've done already. Let's go to Lara's place first. You know, didn't somebody say that Lara was going to die soon? Was it the, uh, the person in the mask that I found in Lara's... in Lara's planned shelter? Remember when I went to that, like, infected dead shelter that she was planning on setting up shop in, but, well, everybody was dead, and that strange person was there? Was it them? I think it was them. 
It was certainly somebody who told me Lara was going to die soon, and I wonder if this is what she's going to die from, testing the drug. Ah, another one? Come on. How's my reputation? It's almost completely repaired. Alright, let's repair it 100%. Come here. <laughs> now how am I doing on ammo? Looks like I've got six shots or less. Do you have a bandage? Hmm, tourniquet. Costs five. That's the same, same price as the bandage. How good is it compared to a bandage, though? I mean, I don't feel like I need a freaking tourniquet unless something really horrible's happened. Um, no thanks. Another freaking murder. Oh, and it looks like they're about to kill somebody. How's my reputation? Almost max. It's like a couple pixels from max. You know what? No. I, I need to conserve my ammo. I'm sorry. Random citizen. There are dark rings under your eyes. Oh no, I can't ask her about giving me food. Maybe she's not going to give me any today. Tell me, are you really planning to test antibiotics? No, I'm not. Vlad the Younger claims that he asked you to test some dubious remedies. I wanted to try the antibiotics, but I wasn't allowed to. I'll have to work with painkillers. Vlad the Younger says they're closer to my line of trade anyway. If I'm to host the House of the Living, I'll have to handle them often. They ease pain. But they also make you drowsy and apathetic. Huh. Well, that doesn't sound too dangerous. How exactly are you planning to test them anyway? I know how they work. All I need to do is find a man whose line of work naturally leads to being wounded frequently. I was planning to distribute the drugs among the patrolmen, but I could rather give them to you if you wish. If you have any success testing each of the three types, then that means they're still fine. Then the Olgimskis will begin giving them out to the population. F yeah, I'll, I'll test them. Fine. You know what? There's something else I want to ask of you. Please put stop to Yulia's efforts and support Anna. Yulia has her own motives, yet I have a terrible suspicion she may have given up to despair. And poor Anna doesn't deserve this either. I'm absolutely positive that she isn't planning to offer the medicine assigned to her to the test subjects. She's too compassionate for that. But she won't go anywhere herself either. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what, she, what she's saying. Um... I think she's saying that Yulia might have given up to despair and won't test the medicine on test subjects. Or won't give it to anybody else, so instead she's going to try to take it herself. But what does it have to do with Anna? Uh, what's wrong with Anna? She is certain the Olgimskis are only doing this to get to her, and to have her dead. She might not be all that wrong. Oh really? I don't think it's Big Vlad. Yet the Olgimskis are definitely a threat to her. There isn't a shade of doubt in anyone's mind that one of them will become the death of her. I see. Okay, now please hand over the painkillers. They'll be of use to me. Oh, thank God. Drugs. A stranger brought me a peculiar vial today. Peculiar vial? Hmm... What? Clara doesn't look well. She's pale. 
pale and disheveled. Poor child, she's so tired. Um, did she just talk in the third person? She just said Lara doesn't seem well. Pale and tired, that's herself. She's talking about herself in the third person. She really is going to die soon, isn't she? Also, no food for me. <sighs> Let's check out these drugs. What have I been given? Novocaine. Okay, that's just a, yeah, just a simple painkiller. Whoa, is this like a super drug? A torphine. A powerful narcotic painkiller. It's very good at reducing pain and has a similarly strong sedative effect. It restores strength when sleeping. It should be remembered that an overdose can lead to a severely weakened state and even death. Effective for 10 hours. That sounds very good. To be honest though, I don't understand what any of these damn numbers mean. Like 10S-10E? What? 8E per pH? Well, I don't know what any of that means. But it sounds like from weakest to best it goes like Meridorm, Morphine, Novocaine, and then a Torphine? I don't know. I don't think it really matters all that much. Chug something, go to sleep, and hope it heals you. Oh, nothing's updated about my quest. But it sounds like Yulia is the one that is in the most danger uh, when it comes to testing the drugs on herself. So let's go talk with her, and this is an infected district, so I need to be careful. I need to be very, very careful. Let's use our Plague Finder. Let's be slow, let's shoot any Plague Rats that try to attack me. Do not touch the shambling people. There's a Plague Rat! You know what? I'm not gonna shoot it, I'm just gonna keep running. I'm just not gonna stop. Ooh. Oh god, there's two. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Gah! Oh. I don't want to waste ammo on them. But if you stop for one second, you're gonna get bitten. Okay. As the mind endeavors to reach one goal, the heart insensibly drags us towards another. My chest seems to be filled with cotton wool. I don't think that a positive outcome falls within the range of reasonable possibility. There is no point whatsoever in trying to attain it. All we can do now is wait and hope that, by some miraculous coincidence, the epidemic will pass us by. She has given up to despair. Um, let's... Let's try to get the medicine, because, yeah, I'm pretty sure she's going to take it herself. Uh, nevertheless, Yulia, I'd rather step in for you. Give me your capsules. Uh, thank you. For some reason, I failed to muster up the courage. It's only natural. Okay. Whew. Now I don't think she's going to kill herself. Hopefully. Haruspex talked to Lara Ravel. What could they possibly have in common? Haruspex talked to Lara. Or Lara. Yeah, so these other characters that you can play as are going through the through the town, doing their own thing, living their own lives. Do tell me, how exactly are you planning to test these antibiotics? It's kind of weird that I can ask about this after I've already taken them, but let's do it. Oh, so you know it already. I need to contract the disease first, and then try to cure myself. I have three kinds of pills, you see. Conceivably, any one of the medicines may curb the sickness, at a certain stage of its development. An exciting experiment, if I ever saw one. Not quite unlike the feats of power they had in times long forgotten. A trial of fate. 
Still, Yulia, why are you so intent on doing the testing personally? Didn't I tell you before? I'm testing one of my theories. A hypothesis that destiny may be manipulated. As adventurous as I may be, I am anything but irresponsible. I am much better equipped to conduct this kind of research than that poor Tanner may ever hope to be. I will be able to keep a journal of my observations, my physical sensations, the change of my body temperature. If nothing else, I won't mix up the medicine. And how exactly are you planning to conduct the test? You're completely healthy. Nothing revolutionary, I assure you. The experiment is, fundamentally, getting myself infected and using the three medicinal formulas one after the other. Besides, the Olgimsky girl provided me with a schmouter that I am to use if neither of the pills has effect. Absolutely precious, these schmouters. Extremely detrimental to your liver, but also certain to remove the infection. Everything will work out just fine, I hope. Okay, so I have the antibiotics from her, but I don't have the schmouter. And didn't one of the girls tell me that the only thing left in the caches are death schmouters? Ones that would just kill you? So I need the damn schmouter too, unless I want her to kill herself with those instead of the antibiotics. I have a better proposal. You see, I would be very interested to study these schmouters myself, and I think I'm better equipped to do it. Give the schmouter to me, and I'll handle the testing. Pardon me, but I have my own prospects regarding the schmouter. <sighs> what medicine were you given? Here, it is called... Ferromycin. The most powerful medicant they had in stock, as well as the most hazardous. Known to purge the bacteria by means of destroying all manner of microflora. Harmful, and otherwise. If it proves to be of use, the Olgimsky family will distribute it throughout the town. Is that all? There's two more medicants. Neomycinum, or Neomycinum, and Monomycinum. Reportedly, both are much weaker than the first, but each one has useful characteristics of its own. I wouldn't know what kind of characteristics these are. Pharmaceutics is not my field of study. That's enough. I'll do this myself. Uh, wait. Did, did she just give me... Uh... Is As that... The mind endeavors to reach one is that a bug? The, heart the fact that I told her to give me the... Give me the drugs right away and she gave it to me and then I went through that whole other line of dialogue and she gave them to me again. It, that... I think that's a bug? Unless she was just withholding some of the drugs? But I didn't get that impression that she was withholding some of them. I, I think that might be a bug. I don't know. Um, I'm not going to complain, though. That's a whole lot of drugs. Ugh. So this is the super powerful stuff, right? Yeah, very harmful to health. Can significantly lower the level of infection and even return the patient to consciousness. Hmm. Okay, so this one's slightly harmful to health, this one's significantly harmful to health, and this one's very harmful. So, yeah, this is the weakest, this is stronger, and this is super strong. Let's see what this says. Should I take some just to see what it does? My infection's not high. Um, I'll take one. Let's see what it does to it. Where is it? So, right now the level of infection is like right at the end of the word exhaustion. Like if you draw a line. A straight line like that. So let's see what it goes to. Oh, uh, that hurt me a lot. And that made me exhausted, too. Um, it did lower it significantly. It just about halved it. Shit. Well. I should let some fresh... My arms are flaccid. As if made of cotton wool. I think I need to sleep now. Yeah, I guess I'll stick with that decision. I mean, I wanted to see what they did, and now I know. <laughs> they hurt you a lot and make you exhausted. 
So now I need to sleep and I also need health, so let's also test some of the pain relievers. Do I want to test the really, really, really strong stuff? I do need a lot of health, to be honest. Let's do it. I'm going to test the strong stuff. Oh my god. That just gave me a crap ton of health. Let's sleep. Uh, you know, my immunity isn't great. I want to up my immunity first. Let's chug... Oh, I've only got one more alpha tablet. Well, let's take the only one left, I guess. Oh my god! Look at how good that is! Also, my exhaustion went down, like, super freaking fast. What happened? Uh, I don't even know, but I'm not gonna complain. Total death toll, 224 people. Jesus. Day 4, by the end of which the Bachelor realizes that the town is unprepared for an epidemic of this scale. I think I already realized that. <sighs> what time is it? It's 9 in the morning. Yeah, still plenty of time left. I don't feel bad about sleeping so long. It's fine. Nothing new to say to you, right? What? Nope. Okay. I think I got a letter, so let's read that. Yep, here we go. Oh, I got two letters. Victor Kane's invitation. I was informed that our major concern today is to prepare the town to defend itself in the face of the calamity that has befallen us. Although it is the Olgimsky family who are in charge of these issues, we would like to contribute as much as we can. Besides, something tells me you are not going to be all that happy with the yieldings of Vlad's undertakings. Please find a moment to discuss a certain idea with me. Victor Kane. Vlad Olgimsky's report on sanitary precautions. Dr. Denkovsky, as of today we are ready to provide you with the premises where you'll be able to establish a hospital, an isolation ward, and a morgue. Please see me at the lump to discuss further details. <laughs> Signed, Vlad the Heavy. Hmm. Good. A hospital, isolation ward, and a morgue. That sounds excellent. Okay, well, I've got my main quests for the day, and it sounds like there's plenty to do, so I better get on it. I just want to check something. There are unseen connections yeah. looking through the capricity and tenuity I just, that the world seems to be made of. I just remember that somebody told me that when you're talking with people, if you click on their name, you can sometimes get a description like this. Uh, Avion's take on her. Lara's take. Interesting, so it tells you what other people think of her. Yulia is a very smart person. I could never match her intelligence. She's quiet and humble and perfect. She also possesses a very unique kind of spiritual austerity and purity. She sets the bar higher for herself than for the rest. Yulia has a very intricate way of thinking. I could never learn to think like she does. Laris, or Lara's take. I find Yulia very nice, but I can't stand the way she thinks. This fatalism of hers is depressing and crushing, and it's appalling to see a mind that bright base its theories upon a false foundation. I believe that any predetermination is an insult to the freedom of choice. I guess it all goes back to the past, when she worked with the Dream Party. The Dream Party? What is that? Interesting. I'll have to click on this more, because I've never done that for anybody else. So Ava Yan really likes how she thinks, and Laura doesn't like how she thinks. They're completely split. Where to now? Should I head over to Anna? I probably should go to Anna while I'm here. Because I'm pretty close. Yeah, let's go to Anna. Alright. Once again, the world out there is infected, so I need to be careful. Try to avoid the plague rats. Oh shit, I forgot. I forgot to use my viewfinder. Plague finder. Hmm. 
By the way, I think if you go into... I think if you go into infected homes, assuming they're unlocked... Okay, so, yeah, this one's unlocked. I think if you go into infected homes, you can, uh... You can sometimes find things to loot. And you can also find people that are in pain, and you can actually give them painkillers, and that increases your standing. Like, it increases your reputation by easing their pain. But there are clouds of infection, so you need to be very careful. You gotta be fast. Ooh, kerosene. Gotta watch out for the- oh, yep. Fuck, 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 that was close. Jesus. It's awfully dangerous to do this. Gotta be fast and then run back. Oh, fuck. I came out of nowhere. Fuck me. Okay. I'm done. Like, literally, I thought it was supposed to make a noise. It, it seemed like it came out of nowhere. Ah, <sighs> well, I just gained back a lot of the infection that I got rid of by using the antibiotics. And my immunity's fucked now. Great. Awfully dangerous to do that, as you can see. But hey, I got some needles. Cool, huh? I think I got a different kind of needle. Yeah, what is this? It's a hook. Hmm. Looks like it might be more valuable than a simple needle. Any bandages? Nah, just another tourniquet. Maybe I should just buy the tourniquet. Fine, I'll buy a tourniquet. Also, do you have any new dialogue for today? A uh, sap, twilight sap. No. I've already talked about that before. The kind's weepers are looking for their house father's body. This is not actually the person I'm supposed to speak with, but uh, let's talk with her anyway. Where did all these bandits come from? Were they hiding before or something? I'm mortified myself. This epidemic turns people into bloodthirsty monsters. But I don't think bad grief has anything to do with it, though my spouse won't listen to me. He thinks I'm only saying this out of false compassion. Why do you think he has nothing to do with this? The... What? The Sunday's orgy victims join the ranks of the muggers. What? The Sunday's orgy victims join the... What the hell does that mean? That sentence does not mean anything to me. The Sunday's orgy victims join the ranks of the muggers. Further madness only provokes them. Honest housefathers grab their hatchets because they see no other way to survive. What? W what is a Sunday's orgy victim? What does that mean? Uh, this has to be stopped. Punitive measures are unlikely to help. You can't beat evil with evil. That's a copybook maxim. Only the courage of the volunteer... Volunteerees can hold back the abusive behavior of the desperate cowards. Fain enough? Fain? Is that supposed to say fair? This conversation is not making any sense to me. Fain enough. Goodbye. <laughs> what? What? You know, I never clicked on her. Let's the kind see. The weepers are looking for their house father's body. Aspidy's take on her. I, I don't think that's how you pronounce her name, but I really don't know how to say it. That's the woman who's housing the butchers. A queen turned witch. That's what you get for dabbling with the spirits of the night. After Nina died, Katerina shamelessly rushed to take the place of the Dark Mistress. The burden of caring for the town was Victoria's, so petty games were still allowed. 
She got carried away, though. Rumor has it, she needs daily morphine injections and welcomes cold-skinned visitors in her alcove at night. Ugh. Lara's take? Katerina took a hard hit and managed to pull through. Who could survive between Nina's rock and Victoria's hard place? That's how the town worked back then. Upon this rock, Nina was forging it, while Victoria maintained a firm stance to keep it in check. Katerina was the one to ensure the balance was in place. I also admire how much Alexander and she love each other. They could have been the grand kings of old, noble, resolute, and honest. Now is simply the wrong time for them. It sounds like she's pretty broken. I just realized I'm at entirely the wrong building. Huh. Well. Doesn't hurt to speak with these people anyway. My chest hurts. Can it be conscience? Crime is seriously getting out of hand. Where are all those scoundrels coming from? It's as if their numbers double every hour. Knives everywhere. It's time to put an end to them. We should catch grief and have them executed. Make an example of him for challenging the new order. The new order. Two R's. Yeah, so Subarov seems to think that it's uh, bad grief who's doing this, whereas Katerina does not. What did grief do to upset you so? His men are murdering civilians in the streets. All the crimes committed in the town right now are committed under his consent. Some under his direct orders. Are sure they're his men at all? I mean, there's been quite a few spelling mistakes and grammar mistakes before, but I feel like I'm encountering, uh, like a cluster of them or something. Are you sure they're his men at all? I am told that many formerly law-abiding citizens have lost all humanity in their search for food and drugs, and have taken up knives trying to secure the means for saving themselves and their suffering families. Perhaps it's true, but organized crime currently poses the greatest danger to us. I think the greatest danger is the plague. Let's be realistic here, Subarov. What's your plan? A group of patrolmen attempted a raid this morning, but they failed to catch the thieves off guard. Grief's gang managed to fight them off. I can't gather a new party immediately. There's not even enough men to cordon off the infected districts and curb looting. So who's going to stop them? Any brave soul who manages to put a stop to their rampage will receive a sizable reward. I shall pay 30,000 for such a feat. If this keeps on, I'll start giving rewards for every dead criminal. At any cost, by whatever means, this bloodbath needs to be stopped. Ooh, a reward for every dead criminal. Um, can I collect for past dead criminals? Because I've killed like half a dozen to a dozen. I'll deal with them myself. Need to talk to Bad Grief about the thieves' rowdiness. The governor is planning to end their abuse shortly and swiftly. Yeah, and from my chat with him a while ago, it sounded like he really... It sounds like Bad Grief really doesn't condone just random murder. In fact, he even gave me his blessing to kill anybody that I saw around town wielding a knife just trying to kill people randomly, right? So I really don't think, if he's giving me his blessing to kill those people, that they're his men. That's okay, I'll make it. I'm... Ooh, he just gave me six rounds, I just realized. Just gave me six rounds for my pistol. Thank you. How many does that leave me with? Well, I can't reload. The rabble is completely out of control. They must have been bottling up their lowly instincts for quite some time. I can't reload, so that means I have six in the chamber. Six here, so I've got 12 rounds. Not bad. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. 
I have a lot to do. Thankfully, I've got a decent amount of time to do it, but given what happened yesterday, as always, let's not waste any time. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to go talk to Anna about the drug testing, and then probably go speak with Bad Grief, and probably visit Olgimski too, and talk about the hospital that he's set up for me.